how's it going? Oh my God, I cannot see anything. Just getting ready for this big eclipse. How excited are you about this total eclipse of the sun? Not a total eclipse of the heart. No, no. No thanks, Bonnie. Total eclipse of the sun. Oh my God, I can't freaking wait. Why? Because things are pretty damn stressful. That's why. And okay, so I want to fill you in because I know everybody's like, oh my God, the eclipse, the eclipse, the eclipse, the eclipse. People are like freaking selling out of these paper things, which hopefully will blind no one, right? For two bucks, you're like, wow, my eyesight, I'm going to stare at the sun with nothing to protect me, but $2 paper glasses. Come on, everybody's doing it, right? It's going to be awesome. But let's talk energetically about this eclipse, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you, I don't usually talk about Atlantis, okay? Especially in public, especially broadcast on my YouTube channel. I've had many one-on-one -on -one conversations with people about Atlantis, but it's not something that I talk openly about. And in the recent weeks, I've gotten so much information, like additional massive downloads information about Atlantis. I'm like, oh, that actually totally explains why I don't talk about it. So I'm not going to go into any of that here, but suffice it to say that Atlantis is playing a very big part in this upwelling of energy, like this upsurge of energy that's happening right now that started, well, arguably started many, many, many years ago, many lifetimes ago, but we really started to feel it. Um, many of us really started to start to feel like the energy of 2017 was finally kind of breaking as we hit August 1st. And then the new moon popped up and then Mercury went retrograde, right? And so it's been, or actually it was like the full moon, the Mercury retrograde, now the new moon's coming. Oh my God, it's like so much going on, it's very exciting. But it's also very, very stressful for those who are very sensitive to energy movements. And uh, if you're observant, like some of us, you've noticed a lot of people checking out lately, right? Like uh, coming down with weird diseases and conditions. Doctors can't find anything wrong with them. They're having like major issues and pain. A lot of deaths of people close to us. I mean, it's just been like a lot, right? And this is a huge transitional period, okay? So if you've been feeling like pressure, stress, my God, if you've been reading the news and seeing things that are going on, yes, a lot of energy is building. Part of the reason I want to talk about Atlantis ever before is because I really had concerns about that type of power, that intense, total, massive power that we had that many of us still carry. I had major concerns about it falling into the wrong hands. There's a lot of stuff I teach on my private retreats that I do not teach on videos, even in my paid courses, because I have the same concern about it falling into the wrong hands. However, the very, 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 very strong message that I keep getting over and over is that this eclipse is a huge transition and it's like those dark forces that tried to tear Atlantis apart the last time, they are nowhere near as powerful this time. In fact, they're mostly bark and no bite, if you can believe it. I know, you watch the news and you you think otherwise, right? You think, oh my God, this is like the worst things have ever been. No, 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 no. It is not, okay? And you can't believe everything you see on TV. You can't believe everything you hear from the media, especially since they don't fact check half of it at least, but you got to trust your inner guidance and you got to trust your inner instinct. And if you feel like that's gone wonky, then use your pendulum, use your truth testing, find a healer or someone that you do trust and listen to what they have to say and then check it for truth and accuracy. You could check what I'm saying right now, right? I got no problem with that. I would loan you a pendulum if I had one handy. Found one. Here you go. Borrow a pendulum. Take my lucky... Uh, peacock. Okay, back to Atlantis. I get distracted because I spilled a little bit of my tea. Back to Atlantis. Back to Atlantis. Funny I would say that because that's exactly what we're talking about. We're getting back to our roots. 
We're getting back to a time where things were calm, peaceful, blissful, where we knew who we are and we knew what we came here to do and we knew what we're all about. And we weren't thrown or scared or put off course by people who had a completely different idea about what the world was about. We didn't actually pay any attention to them at all because we were staying in our own lane. We were focused on our own path, right? And the ripples that we came here to create. So the message that this eclipse brings to you is, well, the message I'm going to tell you is I don't care if they're two bucks or a hundred bucks, get some safety glasses. Don't be looking at the sun under any circumstances without projection. Okay. By all means, enjoy the eclipse, observe the eclipse, experience the eclipse, right? Especially if you're in the U.S. It's cool. It's interesting. It doesn't come along very often. But in the meantime, between now and then, handle your shit that you need to handle, okay? If something keeps pressing you to move forward or to get some loose end tied up, by all means, tie it up. Handle it. Take care of it. Take that action, there's a reason that all of this is happening at the same time. You know Mercury's retrograde right now, right? It's all about completion. So if you're being pushed towards something internally, I don't mean you're being ex you're feeling pressure from external sources, but if you're feeling pushed internally, move, okay? Get it done. Get it handled. Because there's like something that's going to break wide open in a very good way with the eclipse. Kind of like all this energy that's been building, the eclipse is like the pinnacle of that. Okay. I'm Italian. You know, I have to talk with my hands. So if you have questions, post them. I'll do my best to answer or pop over to facebook.com slash asking me anything. Find me on Instagram, whatever. And I'll be glad to answer questions. Um, like I said, I don't talk a lot about Atlantis, but the message I keep getting, it's like, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay. Because these dark forces, like they can't touch what we have, no matter what they say, no matter what they think. Their power is weakening more and more by the minute. And there's a huge spiritual awakening that is like breaking with the eclipse. So these are exciting times to live in, friends, for real. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah. So that's what's happening. So Monday I'll be watching with my super cool shades and, uh, yeah, this is what I'll look like. Wow, did you see that? Wow. Okay. Now, um, how do I turn this off? Because I can't see. Are you there? Can't see. 